Hello guys, this video shows you everything about templates, including how to install a template and how to share your templates. So first of all, I will introduce three ways to install template. The first one is copy when you create both. What does this mean? Let me go to... Uh, so this I already have these three numbers connected with UChat, so I am able to create a flow based on this connection. When I create a flow, I can create from a blank template or install any available template in the template store. Now let me copy this template. Next step, create flow. Now I have already installed the template. And this is a uh, this is a bot. It has a phone number here. I can talk to this. I can send message to this phone number to talk to the bot. But if I install only the flow, let me show you in uh, UChat template store. For example, SMS. And I in the view more, you can install uh, the template here. So make sure you are under a correct workspace that you wanted to install the template. Now when I hit install template, next step, create flow, open flow. I install the template, I can edit it, I can have a look at in any one of the uh, settings in a template, but I am unable to test it. I don't have a number here. I don't know where to send a message to start the conversation. The differences between these two ways is that and when you copy the template, when you create the bot, you are installing a template based on a, a real connection. So you got the flow, you got the bots, you are able to talk to the bot, able to test it. But when you uh, install the template right away without any connection, you got the flow, but you don't have it bots and you are unable to talk to it to test it. And number three, replace current flow. So it depends on what flow you replace. If you replace a current bot flow with the template, then again, you are able to test it, talk to it. But if you replace the standalone flow to uh, with the template, then you still cannot talk to it and it is not a bot. Okay, so again, when we go to uh, uchat.com.au, go to the very bottom, click on templates to access the template store. Now again, let me try uh, a telegram templates. So before I replace the template, click on the button and you will be able to replace existing flow with the templates. When I click on it, I can see I got two telegram flow in my workspace and I can replace any one of them to be the templates. Okay, create new bot. This one should be create new flow, not bot. When I choose create new flow, then I am uh, using the uh, number two ways again. So when I replace, this is a real chat bot that I can talk to it and this is a standalone flow. So before I re before I replace it, I can show you. So in the Telegram, so when you click on each one of this channel, for example, when I go to SMS channel, I can see that SMS flow number one is a uh, real bot that I can talk to it, test it, but I cannot find SMS flow number two unless I go all bots and I can see the flow here. Now in Telegram, let me open the flow and I have a preview button here. Let me click on it to preview. Okay, I receive a message. Hello, this is my old bot. Okay, now let me replace it. If I choose to replace this standalone flow, then I get another standalone flow. If I replace this one. So when you replace, you got the comparison. So the content in the templates is six steps with one keyword and the all flow has only two step and one keyword. Okay, let me replace it. When I open the flow, I can see that my current uh, chatbot has been already uh, replaced with the templates. Now when I preview, 
I see the new contents coming in. All right, that's the three ways how you install templates. Part two, how to share templates. I will explain how to create, how to edit the info accessibility of the template and how to publish it. And uh, if you wanted to update the template later, how to edit it. Okay, create. So again, go to my Telegram chatbot. I have already added the flow a bit. So firstly, a whipped cream welcome. This is the name of the restaurant. And when user click address, it will print the address of the restaurant. Okay, now let's preview it. Okay, so welcome. This is YouChat BBQ. And when I click our address, our address is 123 Melbourne. Okay. After the testing, the bot is working fine. So before you publish the template, I strongly suggest you uh, going through everything on your left sidebar. Some of them will be saved into the template, some won't. So let's take a look. Subflow, yes, I have created a, a blank subflow. Analytics, no. Live chat, no. Bot user, no. Automation, yes, you, the keyword will be saved. A, B, C, comma, yes, and sequence, yes, trigger, um, maybe no, we can do the test later, and content, user field, yes, bot field, yes, so as you can see, I have two bot field, and I uh, enable all of them to be the template field, so what is template field, let's say I am building a restaurant template, so other people, when they download my templates, they can have a list of template field to fill in the information so that they don't need to go to the flow to search uh, which kind of information do I need to switch to my own details. Okay, so uh, tags, yes. Tools, error log, no. Tester, no. Ad elements, no. Widgets, uh, not sure, we can test it later. Multiple language, yes. Shortcuts, the inbound web, we can see later, okay. Now, go back to your dashboard, then in my contents. So only the own, owner and admin can as assess my contents. Then go bot templates and click create new templates and then click on one of your existing flows in your workspace. Now I click this and description. You can have description for the um, uh, template fields. Okay, and you have an overview here. I got one subflow, got four steps in total, and one tag, both field, user view, many keyword sequence. Now click next step. You can give a name for the template, create. Okay, go to the next page. Now this is the template that I just created. The first thing to do is edit the info and accessibility of your template. When I click Edit Info, I can fill in a name for the template, a description, and unlock and lock means uh, when a user install your template, can they republish the flow to be a new template? If you lock it, they are unable to publish your flow as a new template. Okay, choose a category, whatever it takes, and live demo. Live demo means uh, you need to put a ref URL here so that your user can talk to your template in real time. For example, Messenger. So this is a charcoal BBQ restaurant template. If you put a ref URL link, then you will get a live demo button here. When you click on live demo, user can talk to your bot in real time. Okay, so now this is a restaurant de demo. I can then talk to it, get the location, and I can have a, a real-time experience to um, have a conversation with the bot. Okay, then the user can decide it to download your templates or not. How to get a ref URL? Good question. So currently only Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram support ref URL. 
So go to your um, chatbot and go tools, widget, and you can create a new widget and then create a new ref URL. Let's say this is a live demo and you save it. Okay, so this is the uh, where you get your ref URL. Alright, and YouTube video, if you do have a video uh, explaining how to install, how to make adjustment, then you can put a uh, ID right here. So cover image, let me get a... So if you wanted to make the cover image perfectly match the box, then you can uh, choose a image that match a ratio of 1000 to 458. So let me save it, you can see the result later. Let me put some random overview and guideline. You can uh, attach more photo if you need to and then click save. Right now you can see if you use the same ratio as me, then you can have uh, the whole picture inside this box. Okay, and then the second thing is to edit the accessibility, click share and you will be able to see you got four options. Let's zoom in. A bit so you can choose to uh, make it private so only this template only available for your workspace if you choose temp uh, private if you choose one-time link then you um, you can share the link to your user if you are selling the template then after they install the template it will uh, become private again or you can choose a share link so this link whoever assess the link can install your template finally you can also choose public so this then this template will be listed in our uchat template store okay let me make it public now when i go back and go to template store again you can now see a telegram now this is my template listed here Okay, when I view more, I can see the cover image and the more photos and I can install it. There's overview guideline. Okay, that's basically how you um, edit the info, accessibility of the template and also how to publish it. At the end of the video, let me show you how to update your templates. So. It is important to keep your source file because now this is your workspace which keep the source flow of the template and you have already published it and put it in the template store. If you need to update the template in the template store, you will need to update the source flow and republish it. So once you lost the source flow, then your template will be unable to update it anymore. So what you need to do is install the template in the template store to your workspace again to get a new source flow and then republish it to be a new template then you can delete the old one. And remember we've mentioned that you can lock or unlock your template. If your template is locked then you will be unable to uh, republish your uh, new source flow to be a new template. Okay, so make sure you keep the source flow safe in your workspace. Now I'm going to edit my source flow. So I'm going to add one more step. One more step. Okay, let me publish it. And now go back to dashboard, my content, bot templates, go to my templates and now I can click update flow okay when I click on it there will be a detailed comparison so I can see that I uh, have one sub flow didn't change four step changed to five steps and others remains after the comparison you can click next step and update view templates Alright, this is how you update, edit and update your template. Finally, let me install the template. 
Okay, and um, I guess I need to replace it. Now I'm going to choose replace existing flows with the template and I'm going to choose my bot flow. Now on this page is where user input their uh, their own restaurant name and restaurant address. So let me put uh, cake shop and four five six Sydney. Now I can create the flow and store template. Okay, so now I got a new uh, bot flow. I won't change anything. Let's preview. Okay, welcome. This is cake shop. Okay, when I click on our address, I get our address is uh, four five six Sydney, and also uh, one more step because I have already updated the templates. Let me check what is in my left sidebar. Okay, subflow is here. Analytics. Um, I think it is because I am keeping the connection, the bots, and only replace my flow. So my bot user is still here. Uh, let me try if I install this. It's only the flow. Okay, view more. If I install the only the flow, so I still have the subflow, but no analytics, no live chat, no bot user. Uh, my keyword is here. Sequence is kept. Trigger is kept. Content user view yes, bot view yes. Tags yes. In tool error log tester admin widget is kept multi language yes shortcuts no inbound webhooks no so uh, shortcuts and inbound webhook will not be saved in the uh, templates all right that's all about templates thank you for watching this video see you bye. Mm -hmm.